Hi folks, my name is Tommy, the Digital Creation Specialist over at the Bathurst Clark Resource Library. Now we're here again with another Steam video for you where we're going to channel our inner spies, our inner James Bonds. And we're going to learn a bit about code breaking. So, have you ever had a secret you wanted to pass along to someone and make sure that only they read it? Well, you can always write it in a small piece of paper, fold it up, and pass it along to them, hoping nobody intercepts your message and reads it. But the best thing we can do is to write it in a way that only the reader knows how to understand. This is why we created secret codes and languages. So when we're creating a message, we encode it by writing it in a special way, and then the reader needs to translate it back into a readable language. This is known as decoding. The key to encoding and decoding are the ciphers. This is the method we use to hide away our message. Ciphers can be as simple as writing a word backwards or substituting the letters for numbers. But they can also be as complex as very over-the-top mathematical algorithms that not even the human brain can comprehend very quickly. But today, I'm going to introduce you all to a very famous historical cipher, once used by the Knights Templar and the Freemasons way back when. This is known as the Pigpen Cipher. This is what's known as a substitution cipher, meaning we're substituting the letters for something else. This cipher once baffled people for years from its almost alien-like appearance. Take a look. Here's a message for you all. Got it? Now, here's what the message actually says. To see how I created this code, you need the key. Here it is. In this key, you can see how the different letters of the alphabet are distributed among four different grids. When you want to write a letter, you need to look at the lines and the dots that are around the letter in the grid, and that will be the letter that you use in your message. So, the letter A would look like this. The letter T would look like this. The letter L would look like this. The letter Z would look like this. So, putting it all together, the word waltz would look like this. So, I'll leave a link to the code sheet for the Pigpen Cipher key below. So have some fun and happy coding. 